we take you to the front pages of some of the national dailies and we'll have an analyst to join us, Opuna Botaria, specifically uh, to dissect some of the headlines on the newspapers. So it's time for Off the Press. We begin off the press uh, this morning with the leadership newspaper. Leadership newspaper uh, leads with the story, uh, lobby for appointments begin as federal government mulls dissolution of boards. Federal government about to dissolve boards. And the writers there are OSGF, feigns ignorance, party loyalists hope for political patronage. Not got 289 slots, South 278 on the Buhari. Exercise necessary to streamline Tinubu's vision. Okay. Uh, we also have another story just on top of that. I was poisoned at PDP Secretariat in 2018. That's according to uh, former Governor Nyesom Wike of River States. Um, smaller headlines there are, uh, we have not declared Matawale wanted, that's the EFCC, a Papa Port makes history, Bert's largest container vessel. We will find out uh, what advantage that has on us or for us. Domiciliary account, CBN leaves restriction on deposit withdrawals. Uh, then uh, disclosed life pensions received, Serap tells ex-governors. And then um, maybe we'll have more insight into the sports news as Super Eagles beat Syria alone 3-2 to qualify for AFCON 2023. We'll find out at the time we're having sports. And finally, Nigeria needs $60 billion foreign reserves to stabilize the Naira, according to experts. That will, those will be the headlines from leadership this morning. Okay, from the leadership, we'll move over to the Guardian newspaper. And the Guardian newspaper leads with households under pressure as new electricity tariff due July 1st. Above the masthead, you have amid subsidy removal pains, experts advocate long-term benefits. Details of that is on the inside of the newspaper. And looking down, you have smaller headlines. Fuss over bill to regulate Christian preaching. You have details of that on the inside. And then a petrol subsidy. Government labor resume negotiation on implementation framework. And that's the much I'll be taken from the front page of the Guardian newspaper. From the Guardian, we move to Nature News. Nature News uh, leads with subsidy removal. NEC supports NADDC on mass production of electric CNG powered vehicles in Nigeria. Mm. Federal government supports women's right to own land. Okay, I, I didn't know that was an issue anyway. Um, maybe in some societies. Then uh, we also have another Niger state governor vows to cultivate six, uh, 7.6 meters or uh, 6 million hectares of land to enhance food production. Uh, we have another headline here, maybe the final I'll be taking today. Um, it says, REA unveils federal government plans to provide solar alternative for small businesses. That's really good news. Well, those are the headlines I'll be taking from Nature News this morning. And from Nature News, we'll go to National Economy. National economy leads with how Tinubu's government can improve ease of doing business, and that's according to stakeholders. And going down a bit, you have the smaller headlines. Dark side of the cashless economy, details of that is on the inside of that newspaper, page 10 of the national economy, the dark side of cashless economy. Gas flaring, reps, and dash probe of alleged... $9 billion revenue loss. There's a bit of typo there mm -hmm. in that. Uh, but that's the much I can take from the national economy. And I've been told that um, our guest is unavailable at uh, promoted Opunabo 
and Kotaria mm. uh, will be joining us this morning on Up the Press, as he usually does on Mondays, but uh, he's not available. However, let's take a look at some of these very interesting topics. Households under pressure as new electricity tariff due July 1st. Uh, that's uh, the major headline on the Guardian newspaper. Yeah. Uh, well, electricity tariff, uh, it's, it's as if, um, like the, the novel we used to read in those days, one week, one trouble. Mm. So in electricity sector, it seems as if that is the problem. Um, where I live, sincerely, uh, the electricity supply has improved for very many days, for almost like two weeks at a point. I, I didn't feel that the light ever blinked for like two weeks, it was very unusual, and it has continued like that, even though after a while, the power went off for like two days, but when it was restored, it hasn't blinked as well. So electricity has improved, but improvement should not come with um, us, our cost of living uh, going so high that we will not even want to take the electricity anymore. Now people are doing uh, gas, gas-powered generators, will people now resort to generators and be powering it with gas because now gas is coming down, uh, is not as costly as it used to be, or um, this solar, there's another headline here about um, providing solar uh, alternatives for small businesses and all that, but if you're providing for small businesses, there are some people whose businesses are at home. So how do you do that? Must you have a shop before that is done for you? Let them tell us. No need to just say for small businesses. Let solar alternative be available for whoever needs it, wherever they need to have it. Electricity tariff is growing too high. For like every, maybe every quarter, it goes up. Sometimes mm -hmm. they tell us, sometimes they long. don't tell it's us. It's not been long we woke up to increase in electricity you know, tariff and then... To hear that first July we're going to have to experience it again is quite alarming. But of course, every aspect of our life is being um, charged highly these days, mm -hmm. especially since the removal of the fuel subsidy. Nigerians are really having it. This is a very tough time for Nigerians. It's really tough. This is a very tough time for Nigerians. Very bad is that even when they say July 1st, the tariff will go off, it's possible that it has already gone up, but we do not know. It's just, you just find out that you, you load your meter, and then what takes you for a week now takes you for two days, or even less. It's just like subscribing uh, for, the, uh, for data. Hmm. All the networks, especially some networks that I will not want to mention, but some of them, the data that used to carry you for a month will not carry you up to a week nowadays. Three days max, and you're looking for a way to subscribe again. A friend of mine just got um, uh, 30 gig data and finished it in two and a half days. 30 gig. <laughs> and this is not like you're, you're making movies, you're downloading these things. It's, it's just normal, normal um, social media and all that. It finished in two and a half days. Amazing. You know, the sad thing about prices going up in our climb is that they never go down. We've been told that with time, things will stabilize, especially with the removal of the sub -sub full subsidy. Uh, when market forces begin to force the prices of fit petrol down, that things would you know, get better. But will the prices go back? They will just stabilize. That, that means they will, <laughs> stay, they will stay where they are. They are not coming down. Well, the prices go back. It's so difficult. much for Nigerians to chew at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just too much, too much. It really is too much. No matter how much salaries you, you, you give to the people, no matter, even if, even if the person who was earning uh, 200,000, for instance, is now earning 800,000, they will still find it difficult. They will still be struggling. And what will that do? It will mean that everybody will look for ways to cut corners because you can't survive on your salary. And now, how would you cut corners? It's either that you're doing something really shady or you're leaving the duty that you're supposed to perform to do another thing that will give you an extra income. Because some, sometimes you want to concentrate on what you were employed to do, but it is not enough, whatever is coming from there. So you want to do something else. So if you're supposed to put eight hours 
Maybe you are doing, what do we call it in Nigeria, koni koni, <laughs> to do something else that will put food on your table. And can you blame them? That means corruption will continue. Well, government and labor will be resuming negotiation on the implementation framework. That's also on the page of the Guardian newspaper. You know, labor has uh, requested for 200,000 Naira monthly pay for civil servants. So we're going to see what the government is going to agree to and to what extent labor is going to shift ground in this matter. So all that's playing out this week. So when, when they talk about 200,000, which I know they will not give anyway, uh, but we were hoping for a common ground that would be good enough for the people. But when they're talking about that, they actually are referring to people who are employed by the government. Um, what about the private sector? Will there also be something that will factor in the fact that these people also need some kind of aid? Mm -hmm. And aid will not be in form of maybe giving money to private institutions, but will they make the conditions favorable enough for those people to make money and so improve the lives of their workers? For instance, the multiple taxation. How soon are we going to see the removal of this multiple taxation that, that a lot critical. of people have been talking about? Yes. Yes. So you build this, build that, build that, things that are not uh, supposed to be built that way. And you are expecting to add money to a, just one sector. And we go to the same market, all mm -hmm. of us, we go to the same market. So what will they do? for the people working in the private sector. They have to do something about the taxation. The multiple taxation is a major problem. We had a guest who talked about how just moving his goods from which state to which state he had, he, they were taxed several times on the way. Mm -hmm. By the time you remove all of that from the cost of whatever it is you purchase and then pass it on to the end user, everything just goes crazy. And they are the formal taxes and they are the, the informal taxes, the agbero taxes, yeah. that you have to go and they, they are blocking the road. I don't know why these roads are not being cleared, but people who do not even have the right to be on the road will carry sticks, keep on the road. Sometimes they cause accidents and all that because they want to make money. And they make this money from, from Cross River to Lagos, you'll find nearly a thousand roadblocks, some with police, some with army, some with uh, uh, road safety, some with, um, with uh, produce, they call them, some with nothing, people that, <laughs> people that don't have any insignia, they're just, they're just there to make the money. I think something should be done Something should it. be done because this is not a banana republic and you don't, you don't kill people because they want to make a living. Mm -hmm. The government is supposed to create that enabling environment, protection, security, it's all part of it. Protect the private sector, uh, you mm -hmm. know, we, we, are, we have come to realize that the SMEs, yeah. they give 97% of employment that we have yeah. in the country. They give so much in terms of revenue to the government. And so they should be protected as a golden egg, mm -hmm. if you ask me. So well, we're waiting, it's still early in the day. That's why sometimes, you know, we had, I guess, uh, one our analyst last week who was, uh, criticizing those who are quick to prison this administration. Um, I understand the, the, the angle from which it's coming because I was so alarmed to see in the news this person is going to ask Orok to go and thank him for this policy and that policy. That person, can, he st can you guys just let him work? Can you just let Mr. President sit down and do his work? You can't just be jumping up and down, thanking him for this and thanking him for He has just started. He hasn't even... He's just about to start. Do we even know the implication of the president signing bills into law like every other day? Uh, laws or bills that he doesn't have an attorney general, for instance, to give him the legal insight to it and all the relevant people that could have looked at this law to see how it will suit the agenda of this government. He's just signing them. Well, we might be applauding. Uh, maybe today we'll be talking about the student loan as well. Yeah, today and we'll, we'll see be talking about what, what it is. Loan. But another thing is, if the government wants people to, to be happy, they should do something deliberately about uh, housing and even rentage. I think it's high time we began regulating how, I know that people build their own houses. They have their right to do uh, X, Y, Z with their houses and all that. But a situation where uh, 
landlords, I will now say, charge indiscriminately. Sometimes you just raise your, 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 your rents from 100% to 300% or 400% as I have seen uh, in pl some places here in Lagos. There should be some sort of regulation that, okay, make them collect rents every month as you live in the house. Lagos State was trying to do that, but I'm not sure how much they are succeeding. You have to pay one year or two I years. I don't think they're succeeding uh -huh. with that. So there should be something like that, how rents should be paid and how much should be pegged for what kind of houses or locations or something. Otherwise, you, a lot of people live in Obun State, for instance, and come to work in Lagos. Government should also look into low house, you know, low cost housing, you know, for people, there was a time when I grew up in Jos, all right. I know we had low-cost housing estates for people. They had it back then. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's happened to all of that. Now, even they if the government tries, the same people that do not need the houses go and buy the entire house. They corrupt the whole. The system is so so messed up. So it's it's really difficult to wrap your one's head around some things going on <laughs> because even if. The government would come up with a policy mm -hmm. for that. Before you know it, those in government will be the ones to take everything up for themselves, and those who are supposed to have to benefit from it are left just wondering what has just happened mm -hmm. before them. It's the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>